The fencing is becoming more and more popular here in San Diego. Angar, Tabitha the Lipkin joins us for the San Diego Fencing Center in Escondido with how you can learn. You have always wondered how sharp those little swordy things are. Like, can they really hurt you? Nah, I mean, they're not the practice ones. They got a little thing at the yep. end. Oh, let me see the thing. They do. They, oh, they, they have a hurt thingy you. at the end. You take a look at it right there. Yeah. You want to touch it? Show them one. You can push Maybe it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can touch it right there just with your hand. Not sharp at all. And this is the proper on guard position if you're wondering. Now one, I want to talk a little bit about how fencing is actually thriving here in San Diego and you guys Please. built this place from the ground up and it keeps growing. It keeps growing, yeah. We built it in 2006 uh, and this is actually one of the very few clubs in the U.S. that has a building design for fencing, uh, which is quite unique. Can we talk about the different types of fencing? There's three types of fencing that I learned today. Yes, we have the foil, uh, which is a very thin blade. You touch with the tip, as we saw before, with the weapon that, that you're using. Okay, You can only touch on the body itself. No arms, no head, no legs. Kay. So it's a more limited target. You have the saber, which is what Mark and Connor were practicing before. It's a cut weapon. You, you, you touch with the edge of the blade. It okay. doesn't have a tip. You see this like a little loop here. So it's really designed to cut. Okay. okay, and you touch on the from the waistline up. Okay, and then you have the epe, which is the one you are practicing, uh, which is in a way the most realistic weapon because you can touch anywhere in the body, uh, which is more real. Okay, has a, it's a slightly bigger blade and also a slightly bigger uh, tip. And okay. real quick one, I want to talk a little bit about if people wanted to come and learn fencing, yes. what's great about it is 30%, you said, of high school graduates who are fencers can get college scholarships. Well, it's, they, they can get to basically to, to NCAA programs in, in, in college. This is the highest percentage of any sport in NCAA, which is impressive. And your history with fencing is really interesting. You've been fencing for 35 years. Yes. You had kind of a normal day job and you quit it to be here full time. Yes, yes. I, I've been involved in fencing as a competitor, international referee, part-time coach for almost all my life. Uh, but two years ago, I used to work in the tech uh, industry. I decided to quit my job and partner with my friend Saul to take this place to the next level. And I'm having a lot of fun. And so I want to show you exactly what goes into fencing right now. This is Diego. Real quick, while I put my helmet on, tell me a little bit about Diego. Well, Diego is probably our most international fencer. He's been already in three world championships. And uh, next week, actually, well, in two weeks, he's going to a Grand Prix in Colombia, in Cali. All right, so I'm going to go with Diego, and I'm ready to go. So what you got to do is you got to stay low. I've got my right foot forward, and we're ready. All right, so if I want to lunge and hit him, I want to keep this straight. Oh, he's, got, he's going for my foot. So uh, go forward. Uh, and so if I touch him, there we go, that's one point for me. And so now I've retreated backwards and if I want to keep going forward the second I ooh, he got me on that one Diego is actually going to the Grand Prix in Colombia this is coming up soon he's one of the best fencers of his age category and he's going to college in Spain oh he got me again so at least when he competes in the Olympics I could say I got to spar with Diego and something also really interesting I want to let you guys know about they have a summer camp for kids coming up they describe fencing as chess for your body so you can learn to fence and you wow. can learn computer coding two really good skills for kids to have oh, you know what I'm, I'm loving about Ooh. all of this yeah this is the full-blown exercise <laughs> oh workout do you yeah. hear Tabitha is completely out of breath right now that's a lot of work <laughs> oh yeah right Give me a, give and me it's a, a lot of gear, too. Yeah, a lot of gear. Give me a Z for Zorro. Well, a Zorro Z? That's awesome. Or how about an R for Raul? Oh, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> an S for Shali. <laughs> <laughs> On guard. On guard, Lipkin. Oh, that's very good. The steps. She got the steps down. Tabitha Lipkin, everybody.